to enter a formula here to give me that uh, month and year automatically. So I type, I type in the date and then I get month and year calculated by Excel. One way of doing that could be using the month formula and then point to the where the date is. And we have C B6, we see date, the name of the column, because we are using structure references for tables. So here, if I click enter, you see I get this is all April, I get month four, this is August, I get month eight, and so forth. But so here in the month column, I prefer to have three letters to indicate the month just looks much nicer when we are organizing our data and then I have my slicer like that. So you can see the data that the formula that, that I'm using here instead of using the month formula and that gives me the numbers for the months. I can use also the text and use choose format MMM. So I'm going to copy this formula already from here. And let's use that formula instead. So both are OK. It depends on your preference. OK, for those who don't know this formula, I'm going to type it. So the formula will be text. So give me text for a certain value. What is the value? Uh, it's a date. And now which format I want to choose for that date? Uh, if I wanted the month complete name, I could put four M's. You see, it gives me the full name of each month. If I want just the first three letters, then I just choose the format with three M's. OK, there we go. So now we have month. We can maybe center this just to make it a little bit easier to read. And then the year I can use the year we don't have that problem with the year name so we can use the formula year here and then the serial number would be the value to enter in the year uh, function i say formula a lot instead of function i should say function most of the times it's a function not the formula but the excel users are used to kind of use both words interchangeably but in truth, they have different meanings. Anyway, 